Christy Henry, Masters in Gratitude, Masters in Gratitude, Christy Henry. Have you ever received a phone call that changed your life? Me too. It was Halloween 2022, and I was racing home from the store with candy for the kiddos when my husband Alan called. Hey, Al Pal, what's up? What? What's that? It'll be okay. His call was neither a trick nor a treat. I was overwhelmed with grief. What if it wasn't okay? Madam Contest Chair, fellow Toastmasters and honored guests, our journey began in August 22 when a friend of ours commented that Alan seemed excessively stuffed up, congested, and uttered the most miraculous words that she could share at that moment. She said, Alan, here's the name and phone number of my ear, nose, and throat doctor. He helped me with my sinuses. I bet he can help you too. Gratitude. Because of her advice, Alan did schedule a procedure during which the doctor found a small polyp in his nasal cavity and sent it off to the lab. We didn't think anything of it at the time. Alan could breathe until that Halloween day when the doctor called and said, Alan, I'm sorry to share with you, but you have a rare and aggressive form of nasal lymphoma. Cancer. Life as we knew it came to a screeching halt and instead was filled with doctors and myriad tests. Our oncologist had to do research because he had never treated this type of cancer before. In fact, Nobody had. It was serendipitous that he had a colleague at the Cleveland Clinic that had successfully treated this type of cancer and was willing to help in Alan's case. Gratitude. After the testing, the doctors determined that the best course of action for Alan because he was in overall good health, and this was so aggressive, was that he should undergo an intense and simultaneous chemo and radiation therapies. Intense, I think it's time for a second opinion, but what is the likelihood of getting an appointment at Mayo in the same week? Alan called on Tuesday and the doctor was able to squeeze him in on Friday. Now that was a Mayo miracle, tremendous gratitude. Well, the Mayo doc concurred that because of the aggressive nature that Alan should undergo the intense simultaneous radiation and chemotherapies. And so that started immediately. Over the course of the next six weeks, Alan lost over 20 pounds from head to toe, but he only lost half of his hair. His brown hair came out in giant clumps, but his gray hair hung tough. It was a whole new twist of Fifty Shades of Grey. Well, Alan, Alan, when he tasted food, it tasted like dirt. His throat was on fire and his nose was impossible to breathe. But throughout the entire process, Alan maintained a positive and prayerful attitude. We both did. The love and support that we received from our friends and family was endless. And the love and support we had for each other was priceless. Gratitude. January 13th was Alan's last chemo treatment. But now we had to wait 12 long weeks before they could do another PET scan to determine whether or not the treatment was even successful. So what do you do for 12 weeks? Well, you go to Maui, of course and then skiing in Colorado. We planned our bucket list trips to the Kentucky Derby, to Europe, to Boston. We hiked, we laughed, we played, and I treasured those moments dancing in the moonlight with my Al Pal. We learned to live life today with gratitude. After that long-awaited PET scan, we were 
in the doctor's office and he walked in beaming with a smile from ear to ear. He said, Alan, your cancer is gone. Thank you, God. Thank you, Doc. Overwhelming gratitude. A friend of ours who was a throat cancer survivor had encouraged us early on by saying, guys, embrace the journey for there will come a time when you won't trade it for the world. Well, I might trade it for a trip around the world. But throughout our journey, it was rich with friends and family, rich with laughter. We built a stronger bond between each other and with God. And we both became masters in gratitude. We found countless miracles in the most unexpected places, like the timely advice of a friend or the expertise of myriad doctors. We discovered that through a daily practice of faith and prayer, support and gratitude, that we were better able to navigate through life's challenges. There, we will all experience life's challenges, and not all of them have positive outcomes. But how do you confront life's trials? And from where do you summon the strength and the courage to not just survive, but to thrive? I encourage you to embrace the journey, for within it lies the potential for tremendous growth, love, and support. And you, too, can receive your master's in gratitude. Fantastic.